study at home, search for extraterrestrial intelligence. They pick up these radio signals and then have them analyzed no. around the world. I know what study at home is, but why are you watching the screen? As if you're going to discover a signal. As if anyone is going to discover a signal. It's pessimists like you that keep the world from going round. If it was up to you, the sun would still revolve around us. No, it's because of people like you that we're going to be out of a job by staying at a computer screen all day instead of fixing it. So why don't you just turn that stupid thing off and get back to work? Because that'll keep rain in the background forever. You know, George, someday we'll find a signal. Maybe even on one of these computers. And then you'll feel pretty dumb. But don't worry, I'll be here every day to tell you I told you so. And well, Carl, when you're dead and there's still no signal that's been found, I'll be at your grave every day to tell you I told you so. They're never going to find a signal. What's that? It's I told you so. They found something. I found something. What are you talking about? It's right there. Oh my god, you're not kidding. No, I'm not. It's some kind of repeating pulse. See, there's a pause, and then it picks up again. I bet it's primes. One, two, three, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? Twelve isn't a prime. Okay, it's not primes, but there's still a pattern. Well, it's probably a fake signal, a satellite transmitting baseball results or something. In radio pulses. You can't believe that. We need to analyze this data. How? Oh, someone at the VLA or somebody somewhere is already going to be working on this. Yeah, I suppose. But if we crack the code first, then we'll be famous. Fine. But if we're going, we're totally going to have to get some wine coolers on the way home. Must have been the wine coolers. Oh, I hope your liver fails. Oh, I hope your liver fails. Why are we in bed together? Oh. Well, the signals from Arcturus, that's about 37 light years. And the sun there is twice as old as ours, so there could be life. I don't know. I still say it's some kind of hoax. Do you realize that this signal has produced numbers in the hundreds of thousands? Every beat just 0.74 seconds from the last. And every now and then it skips a beat. I think that's where a new number starts. And every so often it skips two beats. I think that's separating the numbers into blocks. See? I don't know. But it's not prime numbers. I mean, it's got to be coordinates for something. I don't know. I've been staring at these numbers for hours. You know on those IQ tests when they give you a sequence of numbers and they ask you to guess the next one? I'm great at those, but this this stumps me. And and the highest number is 26. I just... Oh, it's, ah, wine coolers. Why can't I figure this out? What's this? Well, that... That's Jody's. Yeah, she came over today to pick up her computer and I wasn't finished with it, but she flipped that book out and did half of it in the hour it took me to finish her computer. Although I was kind of stalling, you know, hoping something might happen.
So you're telling me these are from aliens? Maybe. The radio transmissions that formed a pattern. I think it's a message. On the way over here, I tried translating them using one for A, two for B, but I'm not getting anything. Maybe it's not English. Did you think about that? Yeah, she's, she's right. This is ridiculous. Give her a chance. And Jody, don't fight your feelings. Just translate the messages and whatever happens, happens. What are you talking about? You know, you get frustrated and need a hug from here. Or if it gets hot and you need some ice down the back of your neck or whatever. Just be honest with yourself and, and don't hold back or you'll regret it. No, get out of here. Can you believe him? I mean, seriously. Thinking he can come between the two of us? I'll just move over here, I guess. That's it. I've got it. I've cracked the code. Hey, Gropthar. Gropthar, you sure you translated this correctly? Yes, but some of the words don't work out. They must not be English words. Hey, Gropthar, we need your help. It's a distress call. Come to section 847 quickly. We need single guys just like you. Recently, we've come into a large sum of Narg fullers, but can't get them out of the Neptar system by ourselves. If you send us your routing and account IDs, we can put the Neptars into your account. We just ask that you then transfer 90% of <gasps> this. This one is offering discount Typhal Bomb made in Vega at the lowest possible price. Look at this one. You must respond to this message in 10 minutes and pass it on to everyone within 20 light years, or you'll have bad luck for the half life on a Unilad isotope. And then Poth on the Great will give you one Narg Fuller for everyone that receives this message for each planet that message reaches. Oh, discount Hullapaloo for your little gurgle. Show her you're not too old for little Santos by next week. Crap. We finally get messages from outer space and it's spam. Yeah, but, but look at this one. This place will refinance your mortgage at 2.9% APR. Really? Yeah. Oh, but it's an Arcturian year. See, that's how they get you.